Welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to do a belt tensioner. So you're gonna, the only part you're gonna use is, is, is nothing. It's just this, this is a servo motor. And uh, this is like a, a test tester for a servo motor because a uh, servo motor you have to use Adreno. That's what I heard before and uh, I tried to connect uh, straight with the power like I don't know, you see the cable I cut it before and then won't work even like you put negative and positive and only when you use your uh, my, uh, static for your hand that's when the motor start working so um, I find a way to to do it with this um, and I'm gonna show you because you have to be careful with this because it's too tight they look the same but the other one is like complicated to work on it. This one's perfect. Uh, I'm gonna put in the description if you want to buy it on Amazon. Uh, it's there. So I'm gonna put the same one I use right now. So now I'm gonna show you the belt tensioner. So got this. So once once you use your brakes, the both uh, servo motor is gonna activate and push back and then release by itself. So let's open this um, and I'll show you what's inside. I guess what is my tools? All right, let me go find the tools. I thought I'll have my tools here. So let me go and find the tools and then I'll show you what's inside. Okay, so I got my tool. Oh my God, it hurts. I got hurt yesterday riding my bike, my BMX bike. So I hurt my legs really bad. So now I'm in pain. And it hurts so bad. <laughs> so I do this because when I put this, I glue it and uh bad. And I'm just lazy to switch this box is supposed to be flip it. But whatever, it's still working. So I put some tape here. Just to not see the I use this look like a carbon fiber it's a uh, duct tape but really strong so I'm gonna pull this real quick oh, I'm sorry guys my leg is killing me now there we go a little, a little. so that's how it looks everything inside so I got, let me hold my camera. So I got two motors on it for each bell. And I got the uh, the tester. And then I have the power supply in each side. So when you see outside, is the power supply. So I saw the other day too on the Amazon. If, you know, I have my 3D printer so I can make part, but I saw this really nice box. Again, I'm gonna put in the description that it can help you. The only thing you have to do is just like open like a square hole for the belt. And that's pretty much, that's it you have to do with that box. So now I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work. I'm gonna use my brakes and I have to go here. I'm gonna see it real quick from the back. So now I'm gonna use my brake. So you see when I put when I uh, push my brake, this go down and and uh, once I take my foot out of the brake, automatic is gonna go back. I do it again. So that's really simple idea I came from. Uh, I used to make the other one before, but this is really strong. You're gonna feel like three times more than one I had before. It's not gonna hurt you, but. Uh, it's it's perfect i'm really happy I already have uh, i've been testing for like a month no problem at all everything is just working really smooth and i really love it and um so if you don't have i have a motion simulator so sometimes like for the moving it's hard to feel it i still feel it but not like like the other day i was trying with out of the motion simulator it feel like so perfect like you feel like pull back so so that's one of the reason you have this. It's not like to safety. 
just to feel more you on the game so that's pretty much more realistic so uh okay so that's one i want to show you and then uh now i'm gonna show you how to connect everything so uh first you're gonna need about this one here you can you adjust how many bolts it it go to 15 volt to 5 volt so now i have in 6 volt for each uh servo motor so and then you're gonna need this and 35 kj whatever kg or uh servo motor because i i tried before with 25 and it's not strong enough this one is really powerful and i really love it so i uh, kind of damaged this one the other day but it's still working just to show you guys how it's gonna you know connect everything but uh yeah let's go and, and start put this together i'm gonna show you it's really easy and simple okay guys so now i'm gonna show you everything you're gonna need for to do this project so again the, the servo motor the this motor you're gonna use for the rc toys or control remote or, or remote control um car and some cables some um I got, I'm gonna use this one to have a, a male some the most male one I, I've been using is the one with the female and male but I'm gonna put everything there so you can buy everything there so you don't have to I'm not gonna miss anything so magnet switch right now in my motion simulator I have a micro switch but you can use the magnet switch uh, what else so in the power supply pretty much and uh so right now i'm gonna show you how you're gonna plug the cables on the wire here so let me see something here okay so now we got the power supply it's three pin here and then that's where you're gonna connect the servo motor the one is going to the top that's where you're gonna plug the servo motor here like see in the, in the top you're gonna see a negative a positive and out so that's mean like uh, uh, black is gonna go to the right side just go like this and let me plug so you can see right here oh, I can see but you see negative positive and outside so that's pretty much ground so that's how you're gonna plug the servo motor right there and then the power supply is gonna go right here and this three pin so that's how you start guy uh so from the power supply you're gonna find you're gonna see two big pins like welding here with the i don't know what's it called with this <laughs> so you're gonna use the one on the right side uh yeah one on the right and then it's three pin a uh, six pin sorry it's connected here so you're gonna use the first from here to here you're gonna use the first one in the middle uh so these two cables when you plug on it that's why you're gonna use your um uh magnet switch or or micro switch whatever you're gonna use even you can use any button too but um yeah that's how it is this is gonna work so let me doing this i have a little problem with this it's kind of dirty head but it's brand new i don't know what happened so let's go. Gonna, gonna do this real quick. I don't know guys, it's just this is like getting give me a hard time now. Actually I can just go straight here. Let me clean this again. Sorry for this. So I'm gonna put so little from here to this one. And it's hard too because now I'll film it and try to do this. There we go. So we got this one. 
So now we're gonna put right here on this side. So this one is glued together, I mean welding together. You have to be careful with this, so uh, just make sure you have to do a really good um, job when you uh, I don't know how to say this in English, subtle or subtle or something like that. But well, you got it. You understand. So let's clean this again. If you know how to clean this, let me know. You can do in the description there. You can comment and tell me how to clean this because I'll try to figure it out and nothing work. Okay. So we got the first one is in the big pin, the one I was talking about, and now we're gonna go to the metal one. So, okay, let's go see this one. You have to be careful here because it's, it's a tiny area. And you don't wanna have a, a contact with the other cables. Okay, I have a bad news. The motor right there is already dead. <laughs> so I'm sorry for do that, but I'm gonna show you here. So I'm gonna repeat again. I'm gonna show you again. So you know the six pin here. That's what the servo motor got connected. And uh, you're gonna follow the, so black is negative, uh, red is po uh, positive, and then uh, white is ground pretty much. I'm gonna unplug this, and here it's gonna be the same. I mean, that's when the the micro switch is gonna work. Uh, you know, when they go together, that's when they active gonna activate the the uh, uh, servo motor. So now the power supply. So you know, we go negative. So I can see here. Let me see. So black is negative. You're gonna plug in, into the pin uh, on the left side of the pin and then uh, positive is gonna plug here. So, and then with this one, wait a minute, oh, okay, sorry. They have this uh, kind of like a tester, so you can go automatic, go up and down. And this one, the one on the left side, this is called men. They got men, neutral, and auto. So keep it in men. That's what I, let me see what it say. Yes, yeah, say men. So keep it here. And this, you can do manually, or you just leave it like this, up. So. Uh, I'm gonna show you here real quick. So this one is like that. So right now I keep it like here. If you go up, this one's going down by manual. But if you keep it like that, that's when, uh, like the way it's right now is the it's gonna work with the micro switch. So remember the power supply, servo motor, and then I'm gonna show you how you already show you how to connect the cable, this is, is gonna be for the switch. The cable you're gonna plug here is just for the switch. So, I'm gonna show you now real quick in the front of the, where you gonna put the, the micro switch or magnet, either way. Oh my God. Sorry guys, I mean, it's just painful. You can see, I got, one here and one here so when i press the uh, the gas it's gonna activate the the two servo and then when i, uh, I release automatically it's gonna go back so that's pretty much so uh <laughs> now we're gonna show you how it's gonna pull on, into my shoulder i'm gonna show you real quick and that that's it that's pretty simple that's the only thing I want to show you and then 
it's a lot of fun project and I'm really happy how it, this is feel and it's gonna change a lot in the game <laughs> alright guys so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'm gonna start bring more ideas thank you for watching